In 1916, cinema operator Willy Mullins from The Hague was commissioned by the Ministry of War to make a film to prove that the Dutch armed forces were ready to defend the neutrality of the country. The film also had to promote the appreciation of the population for the armed forces. Mullins and his cameraman depicted the most diverse activities of the army and navy. After World War I, during the interbellum, he became well known as the filmer of the Fatherland but his popularity diminished with the rise of competitor Polygon, who provided film reels to nearly all the Dutch cinemas from 1924 onwards. This Leger and Float film was commissioned by the Dutch government to make it clear to other countries that the Dutch neutrality was not to be trifled with. In that respect it is important to note that this film should be viewed from a historic perspective and not judged through today's eyes. What can be concluded is that the weapons and other equipment that were at the disposal of the Dutch army were very, very basic during World War I. For example, machine guns were transported by dog-drawn carts and huge numbers of soldiers used bikes as a means of transportation. Besides rudimentary early radio equipment, carrier pigeons were still being used to send messages. In 1917, this film attracted a lot of attention. Queen Wilhelmina and her husband Prince Hendrik were present at its premiere on the 9th of January 1917. Outside of Holland, this Leeg and Float film was shown among other to the British and German viewers under the title Holland Neutral. The film, of course, showed only those activities of the Army and Navy which the High Command was willing to show, and to do so in the most favourable manner possible. So no numb conscripts in the mud were shown. At the end of the film there is a scene in which soldiers were pulled along a steel wire across a river at a rather perilous speed. It has an element of ludicrousy, even when not viewed from a modern point of view. It also shows how a tree is felled by means of a machine gun.
While watching this film, here is some more information about the Netherlands during World War I. On July 31, 1914, general mobilization was decided. The Netherlands was the first non-belligerent country to take this measure and would be the only neutral state to remain fully mobilized throughout the war. In total about 200,000, rising to almost 400,000 men in the age groups of 20 to 29 years were called up. At the beginning of August 1914, the battle broke out. The Germans invaded Luxembourg and Belgium. Leuven was set on fire and on the 10th of October 1914, Antwerp also fell into German hands. Of a total population of 6 million, 1 million Belgian civilians and soldiers fled to the Netherlands. The reception of the huge refugee flow went well. Local committees and individuals spontaneously offered accommodation and assistance. During the war years, the Dutch army was involved in border control, the reception of refugees and interned soldiers, and the fight against smuggling and espionage. The navy focused on the defence of the Dutch East Indies, patrols of the Dutch coast and the clearing of mines at sea. But in the absence of real acts of war, boredom frequently set in among the troops. Boredom was prevented by sports competitions and education. As the war progressed, the soldiers also received more leave to visit their wives and relatives and to return to their farms and fields. Now please watch the rest of this film without further commentary. This is the first part of a three-part series in which we focus on the Dutch Army. In parts 2 and 3, special attention will be given to the Dutch Navy as well as its Air Force, which at the time was still part of the Army.
Even de koningin. Hoera. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh,